got ourselves an opponent. Here we are. We've won the die roll. We're going to play first. Come on. Not one lander. Perfect. Three lands. We've got a pair of three drops, a pair of four drops. I will keep that. Seems fine. Figure we'll lead with the weapon craft enthusiast. Probably servoed. And see where we go from there. Well, we've got our four lands to cast everything in our hand. Red, white, eh? Ooh, a Malpha squad. So we will weapon craft and make some servos. Make the servos. And then we'll probably Malphus squad and maybe make some servos. Or maybe we actually put down the Oval Chase Daredevil. That way our Fabricate guys bring her back to our hand. Oh, that's gross. Well, come on, Aviary Mechanic. Quicksmith Genius, sure, that's fine. Hey, Fairgrounds Warden. All right, we'll drop the Daredevil past the turn. I will trade the Daredevil for that genius if he wants. Wow. All right. All of the removal. I will take three. Uh, Syndicate Trafficker. I don't quite have the servos just yet, so we'll go Malfus Squad. Make a servo for the Trafficker. And pass the turn. Ooh, a foil servo token. Fancy. All right, what kind of removal do you got now? I'm going to bet it's good removal. All right, so we'll probably just drop the Syndicate Trafficker, I suppose. It's not a great use of our mana. Yay! This is fun. So you're going to exile a card, I assume? At least I get to nail Chandra, right? That came out wrong. Not wrong. Never mind. <laughs> um, I guess maybe, yeah, she's going to minus three, the Malphus squad. That's fine. We can still kill Chandra if we do Fairgrounds Warden, take out the Quicksmith Genius. Yeah, I think that's the out. I think that's the out. So let's Fairground Warden, the Quicksmith Genius. Hope that he doesn't have a single red mana damage spell. I don't think that exists. So kill Chandra off. And it's risky, but I'm going to run the Trafficker out. Please don't punish me for doing that. I just really wanted to use all my mana. Alright, so we're up against Chandra. Good to know. Three cards. What you got? Sky Whirl Harrier, sure. That's fine. That's nothing. I will hit you for three, I suppose. You will take three. Lovely. Um, so I think we drop a Malfist squad. Is this this is one generic mana? All right. So let's keep up a white to suggest we have um, built to last. And we will make a servo. Pass the turn. So we'll take three in the air, but that's fine. 
because we're threatening an awful lot back, so he might not even attack. Let's see what they're going to do. They are going to drop an Aether Storm rock. Yay. All right. So whenever anything enters the battlefield, get energy. Whenever it attacks, pay two and put a counter on it. <laughs> it's such an unfair card. It's insane. All right. So no attacks. Perfect. Okay. So he's only got one energy. Ooh, we can just straight up kill it. We can just straight up kill it. Um, yeah, I guess we'll come in for six. And for six. And he takes it. Um, is there anything that could save Ether Storm Rock if I just kill it like right now? It's probably just going to be better to kill it on his turn, right? Yeah, let's do that. Let's pass the turn. Super telegraphing that I have a tidy conclusion. I guess he's going to get more energy. But if he attacks and uses up the energy, then that's fine. So, counter on the rock. And tap one of my creatures. Okay. I got it. Two cards in hand. What could they be? Well, we're going to find out one of them. One of them is Malfist Doorbuster. Two energy. Uh, it attacks, pan energy. Uh, if you do, target creature can't block this turn. Sure. So you get three energy. Good job. Ooh, what now? Welding sparks my Malfists. That's mean. I guess. I kind of needed them. You're going to swing in? Sure. Use your two energy. Tap my Fairgrounds Warden. Sure. And it's dead. And I gained two. A swamp. Welp. We will come in with Syndicate Trafficker. Hit him for three. Takes it. Then we can drop a Lawless Broker. And the odds of him top decking removal to kill the Trafficker are so low that we will drop a Foundry's Creature as well. Just to flood the board. Snap off that removal. Oh, it didn't get there. All right, so now I think it's a... Well, it's not even a raise. He's so low. Welp, we will... I guess come in with all three of those. He can block and kill the Screecher. He'd have to trade there which I'd be fine with, and then I'd get a counter on Trafficker, for example. If I just come in with the Broker, he just kills it off. No, I think I'm fine doing that. In with those two. Ooh, you're going to trade. That is not what I expected, but works totally fine for me. That counter is going to go on this creature, so now it will trade with the Harrier. Hey, we got there. Cool. All right. So that deck worked out well. 
Don't think we're going to make any changes. I think we're just going to jump right back in. Inspired Charge would have been okay, but eh. I don't know if we'll always get that wide. Well, here we are with a much less black hand, but we've got Trusty Companion. We've got Impeccable Timing. I'm going to keep. We'll draw a Swamp. We have to, right? That's how stats work. Built to last is not a Swamp, but it's a white card, so there's always that. Our opponent's on the mono red plan. The Sky Whaler Shot is not a Swamp, but it's a white card, so there is that. Trusty Companion is not going to have a friend, unfortunately. Uh, uh, Pyro Helix. Sure. Trusty Companion never had a friend. Poor little hyena. Uh, Quicksmith Genius. Sure. That's fine. I will uh, quickly play my planes and pass the turn as though I have nothing in hand at all. I'm hurting for swamps. I can't play anything. So you should just attack with that 3-2. Just attack. I've totally up 6 I'm going to even go to blocks. And then we're going to kill it. Oops. It's dead. Hey, our opponent missed a land. Hey, we're going to miss a land too. <laughs> All right. We are both in the same boat. Who's going to get out of the boat first? Well, I guess I'm going to get a servo. And I can even make that servo indestructible. Try to ping it, I dare you. No, that's Chandra mana. All right, so you're going to plus one so I can hit Chandra for three max. That's not good. All right, not sure how we come back to this. Oh, hey, look at that. That's a Pyro Helix. But that Pyro Helix is now gone for good. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Another planes. So still nothing we can really do. Um, well, I'll hit Chandra for one. Bring her back down to four. And then we'll make another servo, I guess. Yeah, hold up Skywhaler shot built to last, make a servo into turn. And then go somewhere from there. Uh, mountain. Well, you can't play that because you played your land first. Opponent's passing the turn, so we'll make a another servo. Hey, there we go. All right, let's hit Chandra for two. Take her down to three. Pyro Helix on both. How many Pyro Helixes do you have? So that's three Pyro Helixes in his deck. Bloody hell. All right. Whatever. You got it. Good job. Um, Blarg. Uh, I guess I could... Gearsmith? No. I don't know. Um, Screecher, but it's it's four damage that gets dealt. That's gross. Um, sure, let's go Malthus Squad. Oops, that was one more mana than I needed to tap. Let's make a servo. Let's untap that white mana. Oh, I can't untap it. That sucks. Whoops. Ah, it's a punt. Punt, punt, punty punt. Okay, so minus three kill the Malfus squad, but then it dies to the servo. I 
I don't feel like we're coming back from this, though. Uh, exile. It's a plains. You can play it. Or you can make me take two. Either or. Oh my good god. <laughs> Holy crap, this is dumb. All right, let's drop the gearsmith. Bringing back the Malfis squad. Holding up built to last, which will save gearsmith from Chandra. And then we can try to come back. Minus three here. Minus three her. Or alternatively, get greedy. Play a big creature. Try to get up to seven. Then I can kill the creature and bring her back down. <sighs> removal, 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 removal. This is dumb. So, like, I guess I save it and force Chandra to minus three. Which resets the Chandra clock. But this is getting a little tiny bit ridiculous. Pyrohelix. I know you want to do it. Red, red. What are you casting? <sighs> One, two, three, four, five, six. This is the stupidest thing that has ever happened. So literally, I just lose the game now. Like, he minus sevens Chandra, and I'm dead. I guess we hope he gets greedy? You can certainly tell this guy wasn't in our pod. Good old cross pod drafting. Minus seven Chandra, and I will concede to you. That's all you gotta do. There we go. That was absolutely stupid. Um, we go back in, and we hope that he doesn't luck out and draw the turn four win the game card. That was stupid. All right, we're gonna play first. We are going to, yay, there's the one land hand that I was talking about. We're going to maul that. Um, sure, we'll keep that. Why not? Two drop. Perfect. Drop the swamp. Pass the turn. Cannot believe the amount of removal this guy has. That is just dumb. Operative. Go, go, go. Pyrohelix. Kill it off. Pyrohelix to oh no pyrohelix cool all right well we will drop the pillar bug and hit in for three basically if this guy draws removal I don't think we win Because just the sheer amount of it in the deck is insane. Passing the turn, eh? Somebody's got removal. Ooh, oval chase dragster. I'm not running that into removal. Um, yeah, I will bash in. Holding up subtle strike. Show me what you got. Mm -hmm. 
It's just going to be Pyrohelix, right? I guess it could be impeccable timing. Pyrohelix 2 to that, eh? Well, it would be a shame if somebody gave that minus 1, minus 1 and gave that a counter. Now, wouldn't it? Gotcha! And we'll even gain a couple life off the bug. Take him to 11. Well, at least now even Furious Reprisal doesn't do it. Chandra? Well, I guess Welding Sparks does it. Um, hmm. I don't want to use the dragster now. It would just trade with the weaver. So I guess we'll do a chump check here. Not fooling him. Let's drop the daredevil. Well, two pieces of removal down. Three pieces of removal. But we do have aviary mechanic to just blow that out of the water. Um, I want to eat up more removal first, though. So I'm going to drop Malfist. And I'm going to put a counter on it. Feeling good about this with only three cards in it in their hand. Spontaneous artist, sure. No biggie. Can you give it haste? No. Alrighty then. Planes, eh? Um, well, bash in. Let's see the double block. I will kill the 3-3. Three, three. And then we're going to get our daredevil back. And pass the turn. <clears throat> Two cards in hand. Now there's the rock. And a quicksmith genius. All right, now we're in deep trouble. Come on, my removal. Nope. Um... Well then, guess we drop the screecher because then if he attacks with the rock, I can start racing him basically. And I would win that race. He's in top deck mode, but top deck does mean drawing removal mode. Is going to attack, okay. 
Okay, the two energy, tap my bug. Hit me for four, down to 18. No biggie. And pass the turn, eh? Ooh, a tidy conclusion. Um, yeah, let's get in for three. Welding sparks, welding sparks. You're a giant, giant jerk. Um, yeah, we're just going to tidy conclusion that rock right now. Gain a life. He's in top deck mode. We are definitely not. What now? <laughs> uh. Syndicate Trafficker. Sure, why not? Seems very decent. What do you have now? <sighs> sure. Draw a card, I assume? So, I mean, we might have to drop the dragster just to try to nail Chandra here. This deck is insane. Like, how does this deck even come together? Well, they're thinking through what they can do. That makes zero sense, but okay. I will pay one and kill my bug. Maybe they really wanted the bug dead? I don't know. Uh, a planes. All right. So we could drop the dragster and force the triple block. I think I'm okay with that. Uh, yeah, let's crew the dragster. Smash in on Chandra. Triple block. I mean, it might even be correct for him to just accept it, because then he can hit me back for four, five, six, seven. One block, two block, tri tri triple block. Well, we're going to kill the big things. Don't really care about a one, three. Boop. And pass the turn. I'm gonna exile what's on top mountain. Cool, play it. Quick Smith Genius number two. Oh, I need something. That is not a something. Um, let's attack Chandra. At worst, this is a chump check. 
at best we kill a quicksmith genius. Eh, no point in bluffing. We're going to play this card that's in our hand. And actually, he should already know that, right? We got this back somehow? Oh, no, I guess we... Yeah, we bounced it to our hand. All right. All right. Exile, Wayward Giant. Can't believe this deck. This is just stupid. Just stupid. And yeah, this is frankly something that wouldn't have happened in our in our draft pod. So bite me, supporters of cross pod pairing. Uh well I guess we can fairgrounds warden and then he just kills the fairgrounds warden, but what choice do we have in the matter? Attack Chandra. Ba 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 ba. Sure. Yeah, there you go. This just sucks. Not a happy camper. Hopefully the next two rounds are better. But this is just a beating. Furious reprisal, yeah, whatever. Whatever. Go ahead, cast it, kill that, and two to me. Come on, it's not a choice. It's not a choice, just go. There you go. How our opponent's gone down to seven minutes, I don't know either. Trusty companion, sure, why not? Pass the turn. Sure, that's dead. You got a wayward giant back. Pass the turn. Let's see. I've already used my tidy conclusion. I've already used my paragrounds warden. Didn't get a. Re Did I get a revoke privileges? Hey, there we go. We got that. Which I guess lets us scry. That swamp to the bottom. Pass the turn. Stupid trusty companion. You're not trusty at all. You're just sitting there. What is this deck? This deck is literally white for, like, removal. And an ether storm rock. Yay, a puzzle knot. Yay, we get over chase Daredevil back. Yes. No. Pass the turn. What are you going to show me now? You're going to show me a Thriving Grubs. Hooray. Down it goes. Uh, swamp I will leave in hand. And I will pass the turn. I guess I could have attacked with, like, the Daredevil and the Companion there. Uh, you're gonna exile a card. Sure. Skyroll Harrier. Yay, this is fun. Our opponent's just dicking around right now, which is a rather annoying they're trying to get Chandra up to 7 for the style win they are down to 10 cards so maybe we still win just by them being idiots uh, built to last that's not going to do it um, yeah you know what in at Chandra in at Chandra
to make them think. Make him think. And suck that precious time off the clock. You're going to block there, sure. And you're going to block there, sure. That's fine. This will live and kill your Harrier. Uh, Oval Chase will die. That's fine. I will make a servo, get my Oval Chase back. And play my Oval Chase again. Back to you. Plus one, your Chandra. Spark of creativity uh, on the trusting companion, revealing a Pyrohelix, dealing two. What happens to the exiled card? Exiled card just stays in exile. Okay. Wait. What? Okay, he's going to play Piot Pyrohelix instead to kill that. I see. I see. How are we not dead? Just attack me. There you go. Found the line. What do we top deck? We top deck a Foundry Inspector. Uh, I guess actually we can attack with the Oval Chase Daredevil. Attack. Sure. Drop a Foundry Inspector. Bring Oval Chase back to hand. Play Oval Chase. We might just win on time or mill him out. This is insane. Fire Forger's Puzzle Knot. Sure. Play it. Sure. Deal one to me. Sure. Deal one to the Foundry Inspector or the Daredevil. Either or. The Inspector would make more sense. Uh, yeah, okay. And then sack that and deal another one to it. There you go. And then I'm going to take another four, go to six. Sure. Well, let's not top deck a land. Otherwise, I'm dead. I'm dead. I am dead. Well, that sucked. Our opponent wasted way too much time. They have far too insanely good stuff in their hand here in their deck. That yeah, you don't want to do that. They were down to five cards in library. Three minutes on the clock. They can kill me here just by not playing the card off the top of their deck. There you go. Wow. That was the most obnoxious match of magic I have ever played in my life. Um, hopefully, matches two and three go better than that. If there is a match three, that's the other downside of these leagues. I'm not going to stop complaining about these leagues. They're convenient. That's great. The downsides suck. So, yeah, hopefully there's a match three, but if we lose match two, then that's going to be it for Spiky Saturday. But I will see you guys for match two.